War never changes. Hello fellow Chosen, I'm Kato Genesis, and this is 20 Tips and Tricks for Fallout 2. Before we get started, I'd like to direct you to the Fallout 1 tips guide as well, because nearly all of them apply to Fallout 2. Make no mistake, this list only has one repeat tip. The rest are brand new. And so it begins! The first and only repeat is a reminder to turn up your combat speed. Enemies and NPCs move insanely slow by default when you're in combat. Thankfully it's evident when you first start up the game, so that and this tip will serve as a reminder. Fallout 2 has arguably the toughest tutorial in the franchise, so if you're struggling in the beginning with the Temple of Trials, tag the unarmed or melee skill when you create your character. If you want a more in-depth look at how to get through the Temple of Trials so you can enjoy the rest of Fallout 2, check out the Temple of Trials walkthrough I created for such an occasion. Chosen. Unlike retrieving the water chip in Fallout 1, there is no fail state timer in Fallout 2's main story. Hakunin's dreams do mark the passage of time, but by the final one, the game will still continue. Fallout 2 pretends to have a timer in which you must retrieve the gek, but it's simply meant to create urgency. Again, the game will not end if Hakunin reaches out for you the final time. Some containers in this game, such as lockers and refrigerators, have an open and close animation. In order to check its contents again, you must close it, then open it once more. Choosing to close the container if it still has loot when you're done will both remind you that something is inside and save you an extra animation when you go to open it back up. For the tribal that likes to steal everything from everyone, take note that the sneak skill plays no part in whether or not the filching is successful. The steal skill operates on its own and as mentioned in the character creation guide is affected by the weight of the item you're taking and perception and facing of the unfortunate soul you're stealing from. When it comes to stealing too, yes, of course you can plant explosives in people's pockets. But save beforehand because planted explosives can sometimes cause the game to crash. Beware that if your target is someone important or it doesn't kill them, it can end up putting you in combat too. Charisma has an extra use in Fallout 2. Previously just a conversation and skill modifier, Charisma in Fallout 2 directly affects your party capacity. Every two points is a companion slot, so you can have a maximum of five companions with you and there's plenty of choices. Fourteen in fact. Temporary boosts from chems like Mentats will also work for recruiting more members to your group, but you'll have to do it each time if you excuse them. Companions and NPCs are notorious for getting in the way, even in modern games. This wasn't an option in Fallout 1. In the sequel, however, you do actually have the ability to push them out of the way. You can do so by switching to the cursor, bringing up the mini menu by holding left click, and selecting the push icon. You can also go on a Brahmin tipping spree this way. Keep a shovel handy. There's a lot of grave digging to be had in Fallout 2. Maybe a little too much. Some graves have decent loot, some you're meant to bury people in, some can lead to secret passages. Grave digging does come at a negative 5 karma penalty each time you dig one up, however. And you gain the Grave Digger title if you decide to indulge in looting the dead. The important point remains though, be sure to have a shovel. Fallout 2 has a car that you can cruise around the wasteland with. However, it takes a lot of prep to get the highwayman working. You can find it in the den and you'll need a fuel cell controller and 2000 caps to hire Smitty to get it repaired. I've created a walkthrough on the full process in how to get the highwayman, which I've linked here if you're interested. There's no getting around the fact that children are annoying in Fallout 2. They'll follow you around, ask you stupid questions, and in the case of the den, will steal from you when you walk by. In spite of this, do not kill children in Fallout 2. You will be marked with the Child Killer Reputation title which will drop dialogue reactions by 30% when talking to NPCs, some party members will simply leave your team, and you'll be followed by Bounty Hunter encounters for the rest of the game. Some guards in cities and encounters will ask you to keep your weapons holstered if you wish to interact with them. That includes your party members too. 
If you don't tell your crew to put their weapons away as well, the guards will most definitely open fire on you and your team. Try to make a habit of telling your teammates to holster their weaponry when you enter a new settlement. If things go badly, your companions will be among the first to brandish their weapons anyway. In Fallout 1, there were only a few options when it came to locked doors. Use a key, pick the lock, or blow it up. In Fallout 2, there's a new option, smash it with an attack. Some doors are obviously stronger than others, but nothing is quite as satisfying as kicking your way through a door. If an enemy is knocked off their feet for a turn or more from, say, a targeted hit to the head, not only do you and your team get a 40% accuracy bonus against them, but sometimes you can loot them and take their weapon, making them near useless in combat. Unlike the large settlements on the map, there's numerous smaller locations that won't be visible until you learn about them. If an NPC is talking about a place you haven't heard of, ask them about it. A good example of this is the toxic caves outside of Klamath. Some special encounters can make a permanent marker on your map as well. Using your inventory when in combat without the quick pockets perk costs a hefty 4 action points, but in turn you can use as many healing items as you need to and take that time to reload your weapon as well. However, if you're doing this to heal yourself or a teammate with a single stim pack, you can simply use the interact cursor, hold the left button down on the character, and go to the bag icon to use items from your inventory for 2 AP instead. Leftover action points in a fight are never wasted. If you choose to pass your turn with AP available, it will go directly into your character's armor class until the next turn. If you're wanting to play defensively instead of running away in a fight, use one attack and pass the turn to convert your action points into an armor class boost. Fallout 2 has a huge variety of weapons available, and some of them can even be upgraded with expanded mags, scopes, armor penetration, and so on if you find the right people in the world. One of these skilled tinkerers resides in New Reno and will even upgrade your weapons for free. Caravans are a great way to travel between cities before you have the highwaymen. You'll get protection, potentially some great loot to use or sell, and lots of experience. Some of these caravans are quite buggy, however, so be sure to save your game before you start the trip and use a separate slot for saving during the encounters. If anything happens to the caravan leader, that caravan can no longer be used in future trips. Lockpick is not just for unlocking doors and containers, but can be used to block an enemy's path by locking them too. If you're about to face some powerful enemies, you may be able to lock out some in nearby rooms, or lock enemies in a room with you so they can't escape you and your heavily armed companions. This can be done in reverse with active force fields too, which can be deactivated with the repair skill. For some awfully strange reason, quite a few Nuka-Cola machines in the wastelands still work. Plunk your coin into them and they'll sometimes violently eject a not-so-fresh Nuka-Cola. A couple of attribute rolls are made to see if you dodge out of the way fast enough to. You can purchase 15 to 30 Nuka Colas per machine, but stranger still, these machines do restock every few days. And since Nuka Cola has a higher value than what you pay, you can flip these bottles at local vendors. Tell me, fellow chosen, what kind of tips do you have for Fallout 2? Please leave a comment to help out your fellow wastrels. If you'd like to become part of those credited on screen, among a few other fun perks, you can do that by heading over to the Patreon and supporting the channel for as little as a buck. Speaking of, thank you to Wasteland Legends Fen and thank you for watching. This is Kato Genesis wishing you a safe journey in finding the Gek.